Hi and welcome to the second video in tutorial 63. In the first video, uh, which if you've not seen might be a good idea to watch that prior to this one, but uh, what we were trying to do is modify tutorial 60 so that it could be applied to radar screen, which then the problem was with tutorial 60 vis-a-vis -vis the radar screen is that radar screen does not use the, uh, the drawing objects. So what we did is set up a new array and uh, we checked if we were applied to a radar screen and if we were we stored some information in the new array what we're going to now do is use that information to see if there has been a crossing of the the trend line so the part of the program where we do that is here and uh, i think i'm just going to change the commentary here a little bit um, call it the top pivot trend line stored in array and the first thing we need to do is only apply this part here if we are applied to a chart and uh, if you remember from um, the first video we do that by going get app info open brackets and uh, the particular thing we need to add here is get app info ai application type and if this is a chart then that will be equal to one okay so that isn't really a lot of change for that part of the program but what we need to do now is add the equivalent functionality if we are applied to radar screen so i'm going to start by just actually i think i'll just copy this here just save a little bit of time typing and we can just modify it so we're going to say get app info it's going to be equal to two. Now, the the uh, the way that we're going to detect if there is a trend line is is quite different now because we're actually going to look at the array and we're going to say new TL array and we're going to look at element zero, which, if you recall, is where we store the uh, bar at which the uh, the last pivot occurred and we're going to do that for the counter and if there is a trend line stored in the array then that is not going to be equal to minus one the other thing that we're going to do let me just delete this here is to check that there has not been a cross so far and uh, we do that similarly we're going to in fact let me just uh, copy this save a little bit of typing time I'll put that there it said this is stored in the third element of the array and what we're saying is that this must not be equal to one if it's equal to one it indicates to us that there has been a cross so far so having done that we can now start and let's just put in our end statement there as well ready and uh, so let's just start putting in our functionality so new val this bar which is equivalent to val this bar here is going to be equal to the current bar number minus the bar number of the the last pivot that we stored in new tl array and uh, we just used that a second ago counter zero counter so that is the uh, the number of bars ago that second pivot occurred and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that by the slope so i'm just going to put that in brackets there and we're going to multiply that we're going to go new or rather times new tl array and then if you recall we stored the slope of the array in the second element like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to add to that the value of the cci at the second pivot or um i think i re <coughs> referred to it earlier as the anchor bar so i'm just going to put that in quotes so rather in brackets and we're going to add to that the 
new TL array. And we stored the value of the anchor bar, the CCI at the anchor bar in the first element. So that's going to be one. Okay. So we also need to calculate the new val last bar. And that is equal to the new val this bar less one times the slope. And one times the slope, we know the slope is stored in new TL array, open brackets element two. And then we can do the uh, the comparison with the uh, the CCI. I'm just going to copy this because it's going to be similar. Just save some typing. So we're not going to use any of these text or drawing object um, type type things, but um, we're going to use their equivalents. And uh, it's uh, not going to be val this bar. It's going to be new val this bar. And it's going to be new val last bar. We're going to add a plot statement. We're going to go plot for true. I'm going to color that green. And we're going to set the background color. We use set plot bg color. Open brackets four. We'll make the background white. Okay, we've got an alert. And the only other thing we need to do is tell the program that the trend line has been drawn. We do this in the new TL array. And in our case, the uh, the element that we store that in is, the, is number three. So we've got three counter saying that the trend line has crossed. Okay, so we already added the code for the top uh, pivot trend lines uh, crossings in the uh, the last part. I've just gone ahead and added the equivalent for the bottom pivot trend lines. Again, we added this uh, get app info AI application type to the uh, functionality that would just be applied to charts. And then we added the uh, get app info application type two for the uh, part that will be applied to radar screen. And uh, again, you can see here that we're ensuring that we do actually have a uh, pivot line or a trend line stored in this array and that we haven't already had the, the crossover, which is indicated by making sure that uh, this third element has not been set to one. And then we've just done very similar functionality as before to collect, uh, calculate the new val this bar, new val last bar. And then we're just doing the comparisons. And this time we're setting the color of the text to be white and uh, the background color to be red and uh, then indicating that we have had a crossover and uh, we changed the alert to cross red. So the only other thing I want to do just right now is just modify the uh, the plot statements a little bit. As you can see here I've uh, already commented out the uh, plot two because we don't really need that in terms of radar screen. In fact what I'm going to do is just delete those all together so we're just plotting the CCI value and uh, also the value that you can see right down here at the bottom plot four which is indicating whether we had uh, a crossover so that was part two of the video um, the next in the next part of the video we'll be applying this to radar screen and uh, I'll be demonstrating how to set up an auto sort and uh, some of the uh, the features of the alert function so see you there.